Well, thank you very much for very moving, uh, compelling testimony. Uh, the only voice for the ocean that we will hear. Uh, and I am so uh, uh, in, in uh, harmony with your views about uh, uh, looking in outer space for life and water. I frequently refer to that. We spend uh, several billion dollars looking for water on Mars. We started out looking for water on the moon. And uh, recently, I uh, watched the Science uh, Channel uh, uh, project on Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, where there is speculated to be water below the surface. And finding some sort of space vehicle that will go down, and plunge into that, uh, into that uh, subsurface, and find there is water. And then raises the next question of whether there is life in that water. We've got it right here on Earth. Yes. It's right in front of us, right at our doorstep in the Gulf. 660,000 square miles of it. And you illuminated the uh, uh, bacteria, phytoplankton, zooplankton, uh, microorganisms uh, that uh, make a rich life environment. Uh, but yet, within that uh, ecosystem, we've lost numerous species. What will be the effect of this spill? Much of it will be beyond our vision, beyond uh, the human eye, or even ability to, to detect, as you've so well described it. And uh, you, you reference Corexit, the dispersant approved by EPA to make the ocean look better. But as you say, it warns, uh, there, there's a warning that is a, a skin and eye irritant and it's harmful if you inhale it and cause injury to red blood cells, kidney, or liver. There are 15 of these dispersants uh, approved by uh, the National Contingency Plan. Have, to your best of your knowledge, has any of these dispersants been tested on the uh, flora or fauna of the Gulf waters? I'm not aware that they have or have not. Uh, what is your best scientific guess that if, if uh, these, uh, if, if, if the organisms of the, of the, of the, those upon which higher life depends are exposed to this material, uh, to this substance rather, what happens to them? That is the question that should be addressed. The kinds of Tests that are typically done are on specific kinds of, of animals. Um, I have not seen the reports of the, very, the, the list that is now being approved. But the reports on the dispersants used for the Exxon Valdez suggest that it's not good for contact with uh, humans, it's not good for contact with the creatures that live in the sea.